Right. We're going down. Oh. Past the Pensford Inn. Into a field that could have cows in it. I know there was another route I took once because there was just these people going for a walk and I sort of attached myself to them and we went, they took me across all these fields but I can't remember it so I've got to go the way I know which isn't the way they took me <laughs> but uh, it's alright, I'm just taking my time actually, I'm enjoying it there's no rush no rush at all We've got probably two and a half hours to get there. The bus, the four o'clock bus. I'm going to stop in a minute and check me. I'll probably get my mobile out now so I can log the time more. Somebody coming. Let me just stop. Right, I'm walking across this field. I always think there must be a way up to the West Mendip way from here, but... I don't know if I recorded this last time I came or not. I might have brought the other camera as well. The small camera. flowers, buttercups. You can walk around this way as well. I went down that way last time. I better keep to the same for now. I can see somebody walking that way. Yeah, I can see somebody. There was somebody up there, but they didn't come out. Right, we're carrying on this lovely little gentle path. I just wondered if that if Shipham ever had a castle or if they attempted to build one. Just something about that mound there like that. And it's fenced off, so it just makes you wonder sometimes. Uh, even places like this could have had an attempt to build castles. I mean, they got everywhere building them, didn't they? Yeah, I know there was a people seem to go for a walk around that way, but I think I prefer coming this way. I know there's other routes as well across fields, but I don't particularly want to explore them because I don't know if there'll be cows out. So I'm going to have to do 10 minutes on the road and I hate every minute of it, but I just got to do it. I quite, and I, I like walking there. I like this little path. Yeah, I'm sure we went down through there once. Yeah, that gate's open, see? Maybe that girl came down through there. So you come round there, and then you come down here. Yeah, that's pro probably what she's done. Yeah, it's possible, isn't it? Very humpy bumpier, but then it could have been mining. You see? All these humps and bumps could be old mining area. Don't touch those wild cow parsley looking things and they're dodgy. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, I like this sort of thing. This is a nice way to end the walk. And somewhere up there is a field where you go to join up with the West Mendit Way. You probably have to walk up that, that way to get to it. I keep meaning to get a map, a footpath map. I always say I'll get one, I always forget. I got basic maps, of course. I want one that picks out all the footpaths. Yeah. Yeah, what it is when I came here before, I'm sure you turn left here, you go up a bit, and you go through those fields. I'm sure of it. Well, I'll end up going down um, a long drove and then getting on the road. Horrible road. But it's a nice walk down to the village actually. And there's a seat yep. halfway down. My knees only just started to play up. It's only just started to play up my knee. Come back on again. Stop and take... <sighs> yeah, because there's not showing the sign there, but it's not showing that sign where you went up there. Do you know what I mean? I know where I've got to go. Oh. Yeah, I reckon it was up here somewhere and you turned off. Not actually showing you though, is it? This old barn here, look. That's really old, isn't it? That is really old. That is really old, that is. Yeah. Look at the floor. Yeah, this, this is, is the route. Let's see the yellow sign. You can go along there and into some fields, but I don't know if there's any cows in there. So I'm going to leave it for now. I'll try it another time. Look at that old pillar post box. That's old, isn't it? That's old. And that old barn. My God, look at that. That is really old. Yeah, you couldn't mess about with that. Could you? You wouldn't be allowed to, I don't suppose. Very, very listed grade one, I would have thought. Grade one. Yeah, that's it. They don't actually let people know very easily about that route, though, do they? If you know what I mean. They don't let you know that easily. Yeah, old barns. Just starting to get hot again. See, they put that sign there, but they haven't actually put a sign for you if you come out of there to go up there. So you wouldn't know. It's only that I don't know how I knew in the past there might have been a sign before. I'll be going into shade in a minute. It's quite warm actually. Candleford Cottage. That's quite hot when that's out. Ah. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if that's somebody's garden. Looks nice, doesn't it? Nice little pond area. Yeah. Amazing that, isn't yeah, it? You I can remember. Take a look at it wasn't up there, you've just had to stop a car. I just couldn't remember. It's alright, we got time to assess when that happens. So we were going up there. I probably suppose where that went. Try and remember these big stumpy trees next time. 
love the buttercups. And little flowers. They're adding a bit of colour to the walk. Yeah, I can't even see where that path is from over there now. I wonder where that would go. Might come to a dead end, Shell. Yeah. Might come to a dead end. I can't remember this bit. It's all I can remember is the avenue of trees, but... It'd be interesting to see where this goes. Maybe it is in the bushes there. Hmm, don't know. Is this the avenue of trees? Yeah. It's alright, you've got plenty of time, Shell. If you look at your clock, it's probably only just four o'clock. It's only probably going to Winscombe now. You've got two hours, girl. I know, I'm just going to take my time. Take me time, I've got drink. I've got some crisps. I'm just videoing this again to try and remind me of where I am. Yeah. So I wonder where that would have taken me then if I'd followed that up. Hmm, interesting. It's almost like deja vu during this bit again. It smells like polish. Everywhere smells like polish. Yeah, I'm only just starting to feel weary. My my feet are tired. And my knee is only just beginning to say, Hi, Sheila, do you remember me? If you think about it, I've been walking for... Oh, we're saying 11 o'clock, aren't we? So we're saying five hours walking. That's probably what we're saying. See, there's a path that probably comes down from wherever that other one was. Houses up there and everything. All right, so I'm going up this avenue of trees and in a minute I'll come out on the A38 fast horrible road and I've got to go along it for 10 minutes with big lorries hurtling past um, I just got to do it I have to go along there for a good 10 minutes it could even be quarter of an hour right over it out we're gonna right we're leaving the walk really we've got a little bit to do going into Winscombe in a minute so this is Shipham, we're saying goodbye to Shipham. And we're going to cross over the road and go towards Winscombe. But we've got that terrible road, we've got to put up with it for about 10 minutes. What it is, I'm going to time how long it takes me to walk it. 10 minutes, quarter of an hour I reckon. It's not really far, but it's a horrible busy road. It's, I, I normally always avoid them and I know I can if I can be bothered to explore that pathway up the, somewhere over there it goes and it winds around it takes you out further into the village but <clears throat> I only did it once and I've forgotten it see so there was somebody in front of me and I was able to follow them that's how I managed to find my way that time I remember I videoed it. I ought to find it, really. And I can remember where, where, where it went. Well, I've got to go along, round a bend. We'll curve round a bit, past the uh, Sidcott School entrance. But it's really horrible. I'm not looking forward to this at all. I've got to try and cross the road as well. It's the A38 from going to Bristol. Very, very busy, very busy road. I'm just videoing it so people can see what we have to encounter.
Right, so there we go. Bye bye, lovely, peaceful, big beech trees. Over and out.